pain is necessary. Let's take the most, the easiest example. You put your finger on a hot stove and it's painful, right? And it, and it tells you that that's not a good thing to do. So if you didn't have pain, it would be a problem when you put your finger on that stove if you didn't have pain because you would just sit it there and all of a sudden next thing you look down, your, what, your finger's gone, I guess, at some point. So pain is one thing. Pain is necessary, pain is required, but suffering is when you play that pain over and over and over and over in your head. Suffering is not required. And so I think pain, understanding that there's gonna be pain, like when, when an obstacle arises, when a big challenge is your face, you lose your job, there's gonna be pain. And to understand that that's normal and you should feel that pain, like that's it's your body's natural way of reacting and, and there's a big difference between pain and suffering. And so that pain is there to show you like, hey, this is bad, like, hey, this is not good, or hey, this is dangerous. But suffering, is what you do on the inside, playing over and over and over again through that situation that created that pain. And that suffering is what will steal your happiness. And so for me, like, the first thing is just perspective, but like, right or wrong, good or bad, who's to really say what's what? It's all subjective. But I have so much peace within knowing that right or wrong, good or bad, I get to control what makes me happy. It's kind of this overarching theme of just happiness and fulfillment. And it's not just another successful person telling you that success isn't everything. You got to be happy. It's truly living that out, like living that out and making this contract with yourself so that you're only spending time on the things that bring you fulfillment and happiness. I can be happy in the worst of situations externally because I get to choose happiness. And if I have a choice, if I can choose whether I wanna be happy or miserable, given these external factors, given these challenges, given these, you know, a loss of a job or a breakup or a, you know, a business partner does something, like if I can choose happiness or misery in that situation, why on earth would I ever choose misery? But I think so many of us get caught up in feeling like that pain is so real, which it is, but we internalize it and then we go through suffering because we play over and over and over and over again. And all of a sudden we realize like we've chosen to be miserable. Like you have, you have taken ownership on the fact that like this situation happened, it was painful, but I have now internalized it to where I have chosen to be miserable. But the alternative is also true. Like you can have a situation that arrives, pain is present, but you choose to be happy in the face of pain and you have complete ownership over that. And that's what gives me so much peace every single day, knowing that like whatever happens today is gonna happen, I'm gonna be happy regardless. And I truly believe that having a relationship with God, just inviting God to say, God, will you come in and have my back is the only thing that allows you to not suffer. That you're still gonna experience pain but that when you experience pain, it won't turn into suffering. And so I don't sit here and wish any of you to never go through pain. I hope you go through pain on a, on a regular basis, but I hope you never suffer. And I know that the only way that you can do that, that the only way that you can go through life and not suffer is by having someone have your back. And I believe it's God.